All right, guys, what's going on? Me, Goy here from the Good Trades Brigade, and I'm gonna share with you something I sort of discovered, and that's a way to get air out of double sleeve cards. So. Um, of course, when you double sleeve cards, trading cards, um, air gets trapped in between the sleeves. So while it makes for an airtight seal, you have to like get the air out or else you're gonna... Yeah, look at the bulge on these cards, like if, if the focus would so kindly work for me right now. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. That's some, some air. So you wanna ideally get it like as flat as you can because of course, the, the size of the double sleeving alone will already thicken the deck. So you want to get it as flat as possible so it's not just, you know, a big mass in your hands. And um, while this works for uh, inner sleeves with regular, uh, like a regular sleeve and a perfect fit inside, I'm going to show off how to do it on a over sleeve deck because this is a, a bigger example of, look, look at how much air. Look at that, it's bulging. And I feel like if you just forcefully like smack it or drop a book on it, it'll burst the sleeve. Because these are like really plasticky sleeves, so I feel like if you apply too much force, it'll actually pop and tear some of these. So what I found is, uh, at least from my experiments, a more guaranteed way to get the air out comfortably. So let's try this. We have a we have a Yu-Gi-Oh sleeve with a Vanguard card, sure. And um, just to show off like the crazy amount of air that can get trapped, this is a uh, an over overguard Z, which is one of the harder um, over sleeves, outer sleeves that you can get. Uh, and again, like it doesn't matter if it's a standard size card or a smaller size card. Why is the focus just not working tonight? So we'll get get as much air as possible trapped in there. I gotta shoehorn the card in. There we go. Oh. Card is sticking a bit too high, but yeah, let's, as an example, we're gonna puff it up. And hopefully I can show the world that this technique is actually a good, a good technique. All right, so I gotta shoehorn the card in so we don't push on the card bottom itself. There you go. It's a lot of not as much air as I want, but it's it's still a puffy. Like you can see the bulge. So um, what I do is instead of pushing the air out, because you know it like you can do this and it will push the card uh, like the air out. Maybe you can get a better view of that. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> you gotta lower the angle. Zoom in just a smidge, there we go. So instead of doing the normal thing where you just push the air out until it leaves, uh, what I do is... Come on, focus please, thank you. Um, what you want to do is, since the air is mainly trapped in the inner sleeve, in this case like the normal sleeve, what you do is... Uh, this is the seal, right? This is the closed top. So you want to push the air from the inner sleeve, or the inner layer, out towards the outer layer. And that was much easier than if I say I push it all the way out immediately. So you're, you're releasing the air from the inner layer towards the outer layer and then you start pushing towards the actual opening. That's so much easier. Like there's significantly less resistance when you do that. And there it's all nice and thin. Again, these are the, the puffy ones. You can see like they bounce and jiggle. Then they bulge if I can really get the and it's not it's not good <laughs> you can see there is they kind of chunky right like if even if the focus is freaking out they're they're fat and like of course you can't play like that so we're gonna do that thing again and take one of these puffy cards then here's this top seal, and this is the actual opening of the outer sleeve, so we're gonna push towards the top, pushing out the air from the inner layer 
towards the outer layer and then pushing said air actually out of the thing. There you go. And like if it's still a bit puffy, you can just do it again. Because air will sometimes find their way back inside, or if not everything is out, you gotta just do it again. Do that again for this one. And push towards. Like you don't have to push really hard, I'm just like doing a careful glide. You will feel the air getting pushed aside. Then push it all the way out. Nice and easy. Voila! Flat card. Do another one. Push the air out again from the inner layer towards the top of the inner layer, or the opening of the inner layer. And then you're gonna push it towards the remaining air, towards the out of the outermost area. The opening of the outermost layer, which in this case is the bottom of the oversleeve. And it'll have a nice consistency, but like I said, if the if it does kind of bulge a bit, you can actually do the same thing. So here's the, the sealed top, here's the open bottom. Just take a little bit. You can you can even just do this. Later. Look at how much this will start to compress. There you go. And then do that again. Just get it out. Slightly just easing it out of the actual opening. Bam! Flat! Nice flat oversleeved deck. And again, um, this will work also for like here's a standard magic deck with uh, a perfect fit inside and a dragon shield regular sleeve on top. And it, it'll have air, but it's like I said, this was a more exaggerated example of how much air can actually get trapped in the thing. Just got, this one's already kind of flat. This puffy one. In. Push it out, and then finish it off, pushing the rest of the remaining. If you feel more, like resistance from doing the final step, just repeat the first step and you should be good. For the final card. Incredible. There, perfect. So this is the this, the technique that I found best works because when I first leave these, boy, <laughs> it was kind of nasty. They were kind of like balloons with how much air was trapped in them. And now they're nice flat. I can actually shuffle them comfortably now. Like there you go, without having to risk popping a sleeve by pushing by forcing a squeeze too much. And like, yeah, I've repeated it multiple times. This can work with any level of double, triple sleeving. Ideally, if you're gonna triple sleeve, you can do that technique first and then apply the, the triple sleeve. And then maybe do it again, but yeah. It'll work for standard cards, it'll work for smaller cards like Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, perfect fits to oversleeved, triple sleeve, double sleeve. Yeah, but that's it. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any other techniques, maybe something way more effective than this, just leave them in the comments below. Let us know, spread the good word, hopefully so that none of none of the other like card players will struggle with so much air in their in their double sleeve, triple sleeve decks. You gotta protect your cards, man. You gotta protect your expensive cards. But alright. Hope this helps again. Great comment, subscribe, do the things, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.